So over the last three weeks, A Squadron uh, has been out at Wide Bay Training Area and Green Bank Training Area doing the Boxer Drivers Conversion Course, uh, which also includes a live fire component. That's, that has included um, going out to Green Bank, doing the Driver Confidence Course, going through all the obstacles, some cross-country driving. I suppose the main difference between Boxer and Aslav is about 30 years worth of uh, technological development. So the Boxer has brought us into the 21st century well and truly and has advanced the, advanced the core uh, remarkably in terms of its digital capabilities. Primarily though, the, the biggest difference is its prote uh, protection for the crew. A lot more armour is present on this vehicle as opposed to the Aslav, which gives the crew uh, and all those the passengers a lot more protection on the battle space. Uh, the team's been responding extremely well. Uh, it's, it's remarkable how quickly that old habits uh, have fallen away and the, the guys have been adapting to the new vehicle and its capabilities really, really well. The Boxer platform is going to advance the core uh, from a technological perspective to where it needs to be to be out of performance role uh, as best as we possibly can on the modern day battle space. Uh, we're more connected, more protected, uh, and the capabilities that are on board this vehicle in terms of firepower supersede the Aslav by, well, I guess you could say 30 years of, of development and research. We've been up at Wide Bay doing a conversion from the Aslav to the Boxer. Um, so it was a week in Green Bank and a week up here doing some live fire and some cross country training. The Boxer's ability to manoeuvre over the obstacles that we've been handed out at Green Bank and Wide Bay uh, has manoeuvred pretty well. We thought we'd have some trouble with the tight trees but it's just a bit of adjusting and it's really good to use and once you get a feel for the car and it starts moving and it all starts going, yeah it's good. Uh, the best part of the boxer training for me has definitely been the live fire. Um, the RWS system that we've got on top of the boxer is very accurate. 